good morning guys welcome to today and to levi stealing my hair clip yeah that's mine dude every time he gets every time he gets on my shoulder he takes it out and then once he gets that one out and he loses it he goes to the other book. side you can't find your school book thank you <laughs> and look it does not look very pretty and he sent it over to the other side. <laughs> anyway, welcome to today. We're just getting school started now. The dogs are all hiding. They're like, get me away from that bird. <laughs> don't pick my neck. Don't pick my neck. I mean it, like don't pick my neck. Anyway, somebody suggested today that we make a video just with Levi, a day in the life, and I, I need to, because today I've already rescued him from the toaster, the toaster cord. Um, he wakes up in the morning, he eats my breakfast with me, he sits on my shoulder, I give him some egg, and he sits right on my shoulder. He sits on my shoulder, he eats my egg, yeah, it's gross, it's disgusting, I probably have egg on my shoulder all day, but um, it's what we do together. It's healthy bond. In your hair, though. I have it in my hair. No, probably. You would have it in your hair, cause he. Yeah, he here just stands right here and eats his egg. I can't eat my egg without him, and eggs make him hyper. <laughs> um, and then he climbs down onto the ground, and then he eats breakfast with the dog. So, and I have pictures of it. He's like, yeah, I gotta have lots of breakfast. <laughs> anyway, he gets lots of playtime during the day. Wait, where even is your mom? I don't know. Uh, he finds something. I don't even no, it's freckles. I, yeah, it's he freckle. finds something and then he just picks on it. And he uses us. He's just so cute. No. He bites my ears and nose and lips. Yeah, he's annoying. He's like an annoying. Oh, he's like, who are you calling annoying? Whoa, who so are you rude. <laughs> this is what he does. He looks and he waits until he thinks I'm not paying attention. No, bite my glasses. Uh, 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 uh. He's super patient when he wants to get into something oh and then he puffs up his fur he's like ha ha <laughs> that's his conniving look you guys that's that's his planning his step up did you guys hear that that was step up anyway watch for that because there will be a video coming up very soon on this channel all about a day in the life of levi um so uh this happened there's leaves everywhere it's fall sophia october yeah, it's October. October the 2nd, so 18 more days to murder. Yeah, she knows all the important information. So we're supposed to be going to the barn every day, like at noon when we used to ride, because our barn used to be 10 minutes down the road. Now it's 30 minutes down the road, and I've been like waiting for Sam to get home so we could all go together. Um, you didn't go last night. Yeah, and I didn't go last night, but I got a lot of work done. Oh, guys. I wasn't wearing my lucky bracelet yet. Yes, so that's the thing, or you guys. the day before. Yes, yeah, so uh, Gabby was not wearing her lucky bracelet, which means that that's why she got spooked by the by the birds. She got spooked by the bunny. Tonight is going to be a different night. <laughs> I hope, right? Okay. Yeah, pray. Right now we're headed to Walmart to get some food because we're so hungry and I need food. Oh my gosh, it's starting to pour. Run! Run! Yeah, oh, that's not the right kind. So we tried a bunch of kinds this summer. They didn't work, so we used Tresemme. It's the only stuff that works good for us. All right, I throw it in there. Um, Gabby got her winter boots, and I wish I was wearing winter boots, but anyway, she got these ones. They're black, but did you notice the color of the laces? And the other fancy thing about them is that they turn around to the side. They have a heel on them, if you guys can see. So she's got they feel so weird. high heel winter boots. <laughs> yeah, and Sylvia and I are still wearing our, yeah, that was a dumb choice. Oh. Jacob's birthday, two weeks. We already bought him one thing, like a set of dinosaurs that we got at Costco, um, but I need to get him something else. And I definitely want to get him like a race car set. But I don't know if I want to get him like one that's like this, that he plays with, or if I want to get him like an electronic one. There's that one and this one. Yeah, like that's cute. Whenever I buy stuff like this though, it always breaks. Like it's always super cheap. But this set looks cute. So that's what you have to do. You have to set it up and then race your cars. Toys R Us in Canada is still open, so I might go there. But I just spotted this. Oh my god. 
and it says ultimate dino city garage get it so get get it that's it that's the one like i said at the store we always use tresemme and now that gabby's like done some transformation thing and she's interested in all this kind of stuff she ended up getting um this whole blends gentle stuff so we're gonna see if that works let me know in the comments below if that stuff works for you Bird does not love fruit. He likes vegetables. You know it's cold out when we take all of our horse blankets, actually not all of them, but when we take our winter horse blankets into the tax store to get cleaned. Now look at how pretty that is. Isn't that the prettiest thing you ever saw? I just stepped out and it's all pretty and nice and horses in the background. I feel bad about Stella. Like I was nervous ever since I saw the video. Um, I wasn't here when Stella took off with Gabby when she spooked and now I just want to make sure she's okay. I also feel bad that we just got around to washing our horse blankets because it's kind of chilly out. So uh, that's going to be Stella's new field right there. See those four what? mares? Aww. What I get is Stella's like that mare's like, the leader. She yeah. always comes. She's so friendly. I thought she's not in here. I thought Stella. Oh, she's sleeping. I thought Stella was hiding in that thing, but she's back at the back trying to eat grass. And then Storm and Storm and Tex are down there. Tex's owner is coming to get him. Oh, he's got a nice new blanket. I don't know. Stella. Do they look like they're wearing? Like I don't know. No. Our our old instructor used to take care of all the blanket changes. Why, did you think he was going to lose horseshoes? What? Did you think he was going to lose his shoe? There's plenty in there. So you guys need to wear your rubber boots from now on. Oh yeah, it's really okay. muddy. Mm -hmm. not I'm not going to ride her. Um, yeah, we might just take her for a walk. and. A horse is rolling. Yeah, like that blanket's terrible. It's like, you know, when you're at like a nice new barn and everybody is like, got really nice stuff on their horse and then your horse's blanket is ripped because there was trees at the other place and you're like doo 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 doo, -doo that's not my horse. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna tell you my favorite thing about this barn. My absolute 100% favorite thing. It has an indoor bathroom and I'm headed there. I have to pee so bad and I'm just so glad I'm not gonna freeze. Yeah, so that's what my that's what our locker looks like. I really need to clean it out and organize it because this is just terrible. I sent Sam with a basket for him to unload into the lockers and sure, bring it that's home. That's why I didn't want to come today. I yeah, forgot. yeah, you knew I was going to see that. No, I put it there because you said you were going to organize it. And Gabby didn't want me to put yeah, it Yeah, and that's like so much better. This one, like holy cow. Right, so that's a little better. We also get to use the spot above our locker. That's not ours, um, but yeah, I found our crops. Just don't know where to put them. And ta-da! So that's that's. I actually did not go in here. I should do it. Go in here and take out all the stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys. It looks so pretty. Uh, is that beautiful? Don't worry. On the light. Put the saddle on backwards. No, that wasn't me. It was, was you. No. I was in time, here yesterday. The last time I did, Dad put my saddle Who put the saddle on the, on the hook? It's not my saddle. Who put Who's it on there? Is it? Him. Saddle. He put it on there. He put it on there. Um, but yeah, so it's a little messy up there. But I'll organize. Look, Sophie, your treats are in here, honey. Right here. You got a little bucket there full of treats. And that looks Why like that. Because this is your actual bridle. So right now we are working between this bridle and this bridle because it has two different bits on this them. This bit she does not. I don't know about the bit. And Dad, this is this is the first birthday. Dun da da da. Actually, on the. Doesn't it still look so pretty though? 
Somebody else left their locker open and I walked by and I looked in, I could not help myself. And we're not the messiest lockers here, so that's a good thing. <laughs> So we're just walking Stella a little today because she had an extra big workout yesterday. Place. Look at him. Look at him. Before, so. Ooh, he never does that with her. Yeah, lazy girl. She's all freaked out from the rain. Good thing we didn't ride, huh? So. I feel like Storm loves this place and Stella not that much yet. Look, she's got fuzzy ears now though. It's okay, honey. Oh, you're itchy. Are you itchy? Trying to give her lots of love. Yeah, we need to get... So we went to the tax store, but the tax store that we were at doesn't have good rain sheets. Can you hear that? It's raining. It's raining out. Horses are going to get spooked now. Still is in for the night. You don't have to check your grain bucket. Oh, I have grain. I'm so bummed. There she goes. Oh, they have like a little tiny mini jolly ball in this, in this paddock, I mean this stall. This is what we should get one of these. Oh, and then there's like a big uh, cube one. Cube. And this guy's got like a, one of those things. So yeah, we need to buy our, our horses some toys. Um, we met one of the older ladies here. She said she's 60. Anyways, um, I was a little worried about like the older crowd and if, how they deal with like so many kids and stuff. Cause you know, our kids are used to being at the other barn and it was pretty free reign there. And um, she was so cool and she was so much like me. Like um, she said her best jump ever was the one when she took the long, when she took the wrong row of jumps. So she accidentally went down the, Law, wrong line of jumps and she jumped three three or three six by mistake oh my god i laughed so hard like laughed hysterically because that's something i would do you guys gabby is flying storm is not even stressed out about the rain at all and tex arrived wow I feel like Storm loves this place. Like, he has never been riding collected like that, all rounded like that. He's been doing so much better here. Like, I feel like this is where he wants to be. I mean, he's not doing it now, but he was doing it before. When we first got here, there were like a bunch of people. There's like five people in the arena and two of the horses were bucking and rearing. Like, just like crazy bucking and rearing. Were you scared when that horse was bucking or rearing over there? The horse backed up and then like goes to like, no. Yeah, it backed up, was about, to, uh, was about to run into storm and was like rearing and Gabby's like, doo 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 doo. I'm getting the heck out of here. And then I was like, oh yeah. What Stella did last night was not that bad. How pretty.
Okay, so this place is packed today, but now they're gone and I wanted to tell you all about our instructor. So basically, um, our instructors, um, our instructor at this barn is so nice. She's like really kind. She changes how she teaches everybody so that um, you learn the best way that that's for you. rain um she is loved by all when we came here today three people came up to us and said oh my god i love your instructor try so hard to take my eyes off you I'm they all told us stories about how our instructor has treated them in the past and they've all been amazing stories. And the one thing that you guys don't know about this barn is that there's not a lesson program here. There's not a program at all. There are no trainers at this barn. You come, you board your house horse here, and you bring your own trainers in. And so the very last surprise that we have um, for our barn is that our new instructor is... Who's our new instructor, Kaylee? Fiona. Fiona. So it's true. We have the best coach in the whole entire world and she's coming here to coach us. So we're not losing her, we're not losing, um, well there's a new horse in the arena. We're not losing anything. Um, we just are at a new place and a lot of the things are gonna stay the same. So for any of you guys who were worried about Fiona or we're gonna miss her, you don't have to worry because she's gonna be here with us on Thursday. My eyes are few. I'm about to lose my common sense. The moment when you showed up, then you know. Oh my, here we go again. Are you coming back to my life after all we said and done? Are you coming back? So, Storm definitely loves it here. Like, he loves it. Smile. And I think Tex really likes it here, too. Stella, Stella, I think, is just hating life because she has so much going on. Oh, the, a diet can make you hate life, if she Sophie. she had more food, then she'd probably be, like, happy and excited. Yeah, smile? like, it doesn't, you know what, it, how do you feel when you're hungry? Smile. Grouchy? Starving. And it's all you can think about is eating, right? When you're hungry, and that's what has to happen with her. But soon, hopefully, it's probably past this winter, she'll be thin. And then it'll be better. Yeah. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.